Hello, Galaxy Heroes. So, um, we have Yorkie going into the final round here. Apologies for the delay in getting this uploaded. But yeah, Yorkie going into the final. These are the squads that he's facing. Um, I don't know why. These are the squads that I'm facing. Duh. Okay. Oh, sorry. I'm auto in. Uh, contraband cargo on Yorkie's account whilst I'm doing this kind of thought. Yeah. Anyway. This is Grand Arena Championship uh, exhibition tournament. So, um, but yeah, it was fun. I must admit, I, I think in, in a lot of ways, I actually felt I enjoyed this more, but then maybe that's because this is um, I want to say this is played in fun, which and I pause because then I'm curious as to why I would actually say that I'm psychoanalyzing myself as I'm recording this. Oh no! Wow. Um, yeah. So, uh, kind of me wanting to validate that myself, duh, is that uh, I, I don't feel any pressure. I do feel pressure um, running my main account, um, basically because I'm in one of the, the, the top guilds there is. Um, big shout out to MW2 and the uh, 29 stars we've just got in our very first GOTV. That's fantastic and awesome guild. But there's the, I don't want to let them down. Um, I don't want to let uh, Yorkie's guild down either, which is my beloved AAA stars. So... Uh, yeah, but there's 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 lower expectations. This isn't a top thousand, top thousand. No, I'm not top thousand. I might be top thousand. I don't know. Um, main account. Anyway, I'm waffling, talking over all these battles now. But yeah, this is just. And I've also said on, I'm just thinking, sorry, I'm really rambling. This is a for me, I know. But um, I know I've said on lunchtime stream, and I don't know if, on Academy or not, but um, there is more variance for, for York. Um... Lower GPs means that you're utilizing tunes which either are older meta or they're what people have worked on. And yeah, I mean, I've faced um, Zeta Lumis and whatnot. So you don't see many of those around, but it's fantastic when you do. I've, I think I've even faced a Zeta Chewbacca, uh, Clone Wars Chewbacca. So, yeah, there's all sorts of stuff out here. Some really well-modded Gear 12 kit fistos and all sorts, actually. That may have been on the main. But anyway, I faced... In, uh, I am faced with a bit more variance. And maybe that's part of the reason why I was saying, you know, that the... Uh, <clears throat> the top end, I mean, yes, you can get creative. And with the introduction now of Gear 13 pieces, um, it does open us up to all sorts of different things. I mean, I'm, I've been pondering. I haven't responded. I got asked a question on a previous video about uh, who I'm looking at Gear 13 wise. And... That's a difficult question. I mean, there's, there's ob insofar as what gems are there. There's got, there's going to be some gems, and uh, yeah, I want to have a butchers at that. I, uh, gotta be honest, I 
almost pulled the trigger on Gear 13 um, Young Hound Solo. So I'm just wondering, yeah, this is all sorts of, anyway, I'm waffling. This is a, a grand arena and um, I padded it out because it's a long drawn out battle and yeah. But, um, actually she's not cutting through. Oh yeah, we've got through the protection up. I was gonna say, cause Ahsoka is really good at just batting through. And I do like if you can get the combo of doing Grandmaster Yoda, jump attack, take the protection up. Then immediately after he's done that, she runs in, takes their protection up away. And then Grandmaster Yoda spreads the protection up that you've just nicked. I mean, that's that's just such a naughty little move. But it is fun. Um, okay, so... Going against the Ewoks. Uh, watching this back, I was wondering whether or not the front three would have done it. Uh, but I'm just playing safe. Um, Cad's in there just in case we can uh, shut down a taunt. And we hit the contract on the first one. And I think... Boba exterminated, so even if Elder were to get a go here, uh, it would just be a cleanse. But we're keeping ability block or whatever on him. There you go, there's the CAD special. Uh, pop on. So now he's loaded with two. Oh, lovely. Now he's loaded with two thermals. Uh, and now he's gone. Wicket, big damage on Wicket. Throw out some more thermals. Thermals, uh, I'm just wondering whether thermals are gonna play an integral part. Just seeing what they do, even to Sith Empire. I just haven't, I need to experiment. I need to play around, definitely. But there's no way at the moment I'm taking Jarvis to gear 12 or God forbid, 13. There you go, grats to whoever does that first. But that could actually, I don't know, what's Joel with engineer's base speed? Throw him, scavenger, Zam. Um, Dengar, for that matter, and slap him under a, I don't know. Django lead? No, that wouldn't work. I'm not sure about the lead. In theory, it'd work. In reality, uh, not so much. I've just realised I'm seeing pop-ups and commenting on them, and this is a recording, so you won't see the pop-ups. Sorry about that. Been a long day. Okay, so again, um, I went full squad here. There's I don't clock whether or not there were. I, uh, thinking back, I don't think there were any zetas on any of them, but. Um, it was a case of, you know what, let's just make sure, get it done. No faffing around. Oh, as little faff as possible. Get a hit on zombie, another hit on zombie. You're down. You're stunned, which means you're down with the amount of play you've already got and what we're hitting with you with. There we go. 59 banners. That was the other thing is that my opponent and uh, I'm not sure how much I mean he puts out put out some naughty little defenses, but he did hold back a bit and I, I, I could see that he had more gear twelves and more gear eleven tunes I believe than I do. I think Yorkie only has five gear 12s two of them are going in here um can't get han yet there's yeah just too many is it stun guns i actually got yorkie's account directly above the recording so uh i'm gonna pad not pad this out where is han 
It's got one green cross, one, yeah, one green cross. Um, 42 of 50 on the one golden eyeball. Um, then there's a Mark VI AKT stun gun that he needs and another eyeball. Yeah, that's why he needs three eyeballs and a stun gun. I've got the stun gun. I just don't have three eyeballs. So, finally, I make my mind up. There we go, bedding over. over. And opt to go for a three-man squad. Uh, I want him gone, as in Thrawn, but because I've got him stunned, I'm quite happy to leave him as he is. No, I'm not. Okay, I should have watched this a bit more than I did, obviously. So there's Thrawn gone. So now we're kind of... I, I'm feeling quite secure here. Dengar isn't such a force without Bosk lead. Or a bounty hunter lead at the come of that. Boom. I think that is an UPB. 62 point. Only two off the maximum, which is going single-handed and not getting any well, keep retaining protection as well, isn't it? I don't know. Boom, we're in. Um, so this is the last squad that I'm facing. And I'm like, yay! Sorry, mouse going dry now. But as you can see, uh, the highest gear in here is my gear 10 fin. BB-8's gear 9. Um, and then we go gear eights, and, and there might even be a seven in there. I wasn't sure. Actually, R two is ten as well, isn't he? But R two is double zated. Something that I still want to do on my main account. But uh, yeah, I just it was like I I want the win, and I want although I want as many points as possible. Um, I, yeah, I just didn't want to risk it because they do counter. I'm just trying to get rid of the damage. That's a gear 10 Ezra down. Right, if we can shut down the lead. Don't want no reviving. Uh uh. No, we don't. <clears throat> Just goes to show you. I mean, this little squad. I do. I. I. Uh, anyone in a similar position, um, account-wise to York. So, as I say, two point eight million. Um, definitely knows what I mean about gear. I am. Really, I know that sounds weird saying that with the other one, but yeah. This one allows me to acknowledge the struggles. Um, so there we go. That is that round done. Um, completely clear 10 Grand Arena territories. Let's have that. Thank you very much. Uh, so the only thing I've got left, and the one that was concerning me the most, was the ship arena. Um, but, yeah. So, before we move on, because there is more, um, this is the review here. So, this was my second round. Um, first round was the closest, and let's go and have a look. It was south. First South, um, yeah. That's where we are there. It was First South that held anyway. Sorry, I thought that I actually went in and looked, but it was uh, a, a newt lead with Dooku, Sumfak, Geon Ocean Soldier, and uh, B1 Battle Droid. So B1 Battle Droid, four star gear seven, um, Dooku, 
five star gear eight newt's gear nine maybe ten um some fact is i think seven as is geon ocean soldier but uh yeah naughty little squad poses problems um, so yeah, if you noticed at the end of the, when I went into there, the one thing I had and I had touched on, and obviously you can see we're now doing it, is the fleet. And I'd managed to get to needing only one um, hit and miss with this. I'm facing the same people day in, day out, um, trying to, you know, keep within the top 50 and um yeah good days and bad days on that um this one after that getting rid of hound's tooth is the thing i need to get rid of him well we all need to get rid of him as soon as possible because the longer he's there the closer you get to um the big hit although i believe I'm running Chimera and I'm going against Executrix. So I do really need these target locks going. Maybe that's the thing. I should bring back my uh, my gauntlet. But uh, I do need to work on the gauntlet pilots crew. I do love Xanadu blood. Um, I don't get to use it as much as I used to in in regular fleet, but well, other than the Yorkie account now. Um, but you get some gear onto your your crew member, and boost that ship up, and it is a really nice ship. And of course, what it also helps to achieve is um, continuing Houndstooth's taunt. And Hound's Tooth is still the number one ship in game. Just look, even the MILF uses <laughs> sits behind it. So this is now starting to get me a bit anxious. I mean, thankfully, um, Ahsoka got to cleanse half that crap off of Scav Ray's Millennium Falcon and thrown to the rescue big bada boom yay also i love the way that the planet actually rotates as you're battling i noticed as i was forwarding looking for uh or just watching it through but quickly so there we go 25 minutes to go until the end of feats i managed to bang that one in and what was that 516 points gets me up to chromium yay i'm pleased about that um and just as a little bit at the end um this was the final piece which is just the championships rewards and so i've got that i haven't even looked at what that title is to be honest but i've got it yay and there was the uh the creds and water as well so that's it that was yorkie's grand arena thank you for watching